Okay, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to the third video of talking machine class, and we're gonna start coding. Um, so I hope everyone already watched shipment video of what is P five JS. Um, how to use create an account. Uh, so you go to the login page and you enter your email that you submit for the. And now on the top right corner, you're gonna see your name, meaning that now you are on your account and um, we're gonna start with create a new file uh, you're going to file and then drop down menus and then you click new and then p5 already has a, uh, a function set up and draw for you so don't be scared like I created a new file but like why is still something right now so this is default setup and also the name is generate um, randomly so you can double uh, click here not double click just click here uh, and rename it so this class I am um, gonna name it to be talking matching underscore read box and then you just and double click and then now you have a new file and every uh, every time you come back you open you see it here <gasps> you don't see it because you don't save it guy come back <laughs> so you have to save it first so the good thing about web editor is you can share to everyone you can come back to edit from anywhere anytime uh, you don't have to store it in your laptop and now it should, should appear if I if you go to file and then open it should show, yay, talking machine underscore red box. And then before we start programming um, on the JavaScript, uh, we need a library, which is we are going to use P5 speech. So we just um, Google the P5 speech and then so this library was made by Luke Dubois, IDM from Tendon School of Engineering, NYU. This project is part of ability project that doing the research between disability and technology. So it's really, really useful and cool project. Um, before we start, we need a library. And what we are going to do is over here below download and it's called library only. So you click there and then here it was like, ah, what is that? Like, so this is the things that run this library. We are going to command A, so copy all. If you are on Max, you press command A. If you are on window system, you are doing um, control A. And you command C to copy or just like right, right click and then copy. Um, and then go back to your um, P5 web editor and then here below the play button you have uh, like an arrow menus and then you click it it's gonna open <gasps> a secret space for something else no it's not so secret um, so this is how the JavaScript work I hope you already watched shipment and then um, understand like why we have the different file and you can always like create a new file and then call them so normally you don't have to do this on a p5 editor because uh, if you click index.html uh, the pro the web editor itself already set the basic thing the from the p5 and the basic html to run um, like let's say if you want to just draw it and you want to just making sound is already work but because of today we're gonna add the library that doesn't on the main editor so we have to add it and by adding that you click the drop down menu here and then you click create file here and then you i would name the file you can name anything you can name like the donut dog um you can name anything you can name uh, I would recommend you to read to name the name that uh, that you won't forget or 
if you give this code to someone else to read, they will sort of understand what is this for. Because I had that experience that I named like whatever, and then I come back and I totally forgot. Because as some case, in some case, you might end up doing ha- like having a lot of file. So I'm gonna name this one to be p5 dot speech dot js, and then I click add file. And then if you double click that, it's nothing. And then you re- did you re- uh, if you don't forget about that, we just copy the the library from the page. So we just command V on this and then click save. But this is not uh, calling yet because the way the the way HTML work, they still don't know like that you're adding the new file. So you have to go to the index HTML and then call them here. So here in index HTML, you will see this is the way they're calling the library. But some of them already, like, you can just call by the link, but this one you do it manually. So I'm just gonna simply copy them, and then place it here. But in here, instead of I'm putting the link, I'm going to just delete it. And then I'm going to call sauce equal quotation mark. And we're going to call things that we just named, which is p5 speech.js. And then quotation mark. I am always save it. All right. And now we are on the page. and. If you click, it's still not gonna show or like, no, like you're not gonna see anything about P5 speech. It's gonna be default, it's gonna be just a like gray background because the way we just did before, it's just calling, it just, it just show uh, the code where to call the P5 library when I need it. So let's say in the future, if I coding to calling the library, then now I know where it is um, and then here in the code I'm gonna start with ca- uh, calling that library global available let my I'm gonna call my available my voice equal new p5 dot speech speech is the um, capital letter. So the one thing of about the code is the case is really sensitive. And like, how am I going to know how to check how to, like if this thing has a kit, like different kit type case. So you go back to the source of the page. Um, they always have a reference um, here. And you can see um, the function that you want to use uh, and how to call it. Uh, and then here in the setup, um, I don't think I need a create canvas. We don't need a canvas to draw because we're not going to draw anything but just speak it out loud. So I'm not going to use this line. I'm going to just delete it. And then I'm going to call my function my voice dot speak. And let's see. I'm going to let them. And then a quotation, uh, and then I'm gonna let them say hello world. And then in the function draw, same thing. I mean, right now I don't need the decoration, so I also don't need this guy. And basically, I don't need it at all. Map three line of code. Hello world. Did you hear that? It works, guy. That's it. It's so easy. So now the library works, the code works. They know how to call it. Let's try a couple sentence. Um, how are you? How are you? Ah, okay. It works. How about if I wanna add more lines, speak more? So I'll just copy this and then add it here. And fine. Um, let's see. How are you? I'm fine. 
it works. I'm gonna try to add more sentence. Um, how about um, I wanna say so? Maybe I'll copy it, right? And then I'll add the C. How are you? I'm fine. That's work. That's it. Now the preview didn't show anything. It might be useful if you have the box that you can just change the t uh what you type and then maybe have some button to click so that way you can because then because the way you use the code you you didn't always come back to the editor or code from the back end or code like from the scratch um you can also do something or interact um in the front end which is what you see in the preview up here i'm gonna have so i'm gonna comment this out because we don't Need it. And here, if you don't need the code, but you might need it for reference later, you click command and backslash, or simply type to backslash, and then this way the code will skip when they read it, but you can still have it as a reference. So let's say if I'm gonna have a note for myself, let's say, um, this is... <laughs> It will be useful, for example, if you point out to the link that you're going to get the P5 speech library. So maybe you say that P5 speech point out to that link. So next time when you come back in like five months later and then you totally forgot where you get this link, then you can, oh, it's here. Okay. So we need to do the new box. We need a new input. We need a place for the new input. So I'm gonna call the global variable input semicolon in the setup input. And then we do the same thing. I'm sorry, I misspelled the create input. Um, if you wonder like how the like how we're gonna call this function, you can search p5 reference. You can be able to see I'll search here. I'll search input. And then here you see if you call the input, then here you have the function create input and then you put something in there. So this is simple this is normal in when we coding, we always go back and forth. I cannot remember anything. Always go back to the reference. And here, um here we have the create input. I'm gonna say uh, I'll say type here and then semicolon and then here another one i will say input um maybe i'll start um, the position right this is the ux the position um and a hundred in p5 we always um start with the top left corner as the x y position this is i'm just gonna be like random and we can adjust it later how about the size maybe um and then let's see oh something happened i get tight guys not big yet because we don't have don't link to anything or not call anything so what else we need maybe we need a button right um so i'm gonna create a global variable on top here say button 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 um again same thing if you go if you like oh like how to call a button you you go here and then you search but not but i'm sorry guys this is like for education button button um and here you see create button and then you can just simply copy and paste here um what else you want it to do when you mouth press mouth press is also a function in p5.js and again go uh, if you want to know how to use it um you can go back to the reference and here mouth press what to do I'm gonna create my own functions. Okay, function, and then I'm gonna call this function um, read message followed by bracket. 
and query back to it. And then inside the function, I'm gonna say um, maybe um, my voice, the function, do, do you remember the function that you said in the beginning here? Um, my voice, speak um, in there, instead of just like always type, you will say input dot value and then um, so in here is like a input that have uh, and then you call the value of inside that in input so you leave the like empty curly bracket uh, empty back bracket and then from now now you get a new function you want to copy this and then every time you press the button call this function and now the excited moment guys type here <gasps> hi <laughs> hello hello now it worked yeah 20 line actually less than 20 line i, I comment a lot but you can see that it's like not so so hard and now you have things to you can make a computer talk now i'm gonna just copy um before speech and then web audio speech synthesis and speech recognition implementation for p5.js http colon slash slash p5js.org yay so now you can have the machine that make things talk and i'm gonna save it right and from here uh, I'm gonna post the link and you can start from here. You can try to, you can go back to the reference and then you can see um, if you wanna change the design, if you wanna add something, if you wanna um, make it, if you are advanced, if you like to code, and if you wanna do, and I recommend you to watch uh, Shipman, Daniel Shipman, the coding trend videos, and then you can hook this up with. Um, a video you can hook this up with uh, maybe you speak and then you can call an image that or you can even use this code to combine with your artwork that you already have let's say if you have a sculpture and you want to make it talk and then you can use this like to be a machine that make it sound like a computer talks so here I'll, I'll show you so when you sign up with your account and then you go to my link and then you go to duplicate so you duplicate the file and then you'll see the same thing I say here like the file name and copy and then you can click save again and now it's going to be yours and then you can rename to whatever you want um, and you can start from here so yeah first code all right that was the first code how do you guys feel? We're gonna do a couple more quotes and examples from the P5 speech. I'll see you next video.